Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Luxury African Fashion and Styles. Please, if you are new to this channel, you are highly welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Today, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to cut and sew female short pants, as you can see on the screen. That's what I'll be doing for today. You can also follow me on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page, African Fashion and Styles. And on my TikTok, I have it there as a Menge Fashion. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate your like, comment, and shares on my video. So on this tutorial, what I'll be using is the pattern paper. And after that, I will now use it to cut out the fabric. So the first thing you do is to mark out the key lines. On this measurement, the hip line is 9 and the cross line is a 12. The length of the no short pant is a 22. So what I do is to remove 3 inches because it has band on the waistline. So I have to remove the 3 inches of the band from the measurement and then add extra 2 inches to it on the base for same allowance and the folding. So what I will do is to just mark out the exact length of the short part. What I'll be doing next is to go over to the top. In order to get the curve shape, just take two and a half inch, mark, and then give it a curve shape. From that curve, you will now take the waistline of the shorter pants. So the waist measurement is a 40, you divide by 4, you have 10. I will be adding 2 inch for seam allowance and then that. Just mark out. The hip, the same thing. I will be adding 2 inch for same allowance and the extra. Remember the cross line was 12. So in order for you to get the lap or the tie measurement, from the cross line you take three them and then mark. And that's how you get your tie or lap measurement. So simple. So what I'll be doing next is to take the round knee. So you take your tape down, like so. Take two inch or one and a half, and then mark. And from there, you take the round knee. And the round knee is 10, and I'll be adding same allowance, making level. Just give it a cover shape, like so. Take it down to the base. That's how you get the mean measurement. The curve shape is out now. So what I'll be doing next is to take the crochet shape. Remember that's the, you know, the waist line measurement. So just take your, your curve ruler or French curve, curve it. And then the cross line is there out. From the cross line, you connect straight to the knee level. So that's it on the front panel. So for you to get the dart. Remember the waistline, the waist measurement was 40, divide, then I'll be using 5 to take the doubt. And on the depth, I will be using 4. 
mark a straight line and on both sides i will be using half inch to take the dart on both sides just mark and then connect down So what I'll be doing next is to take my tape up a little on the waistline and then take half inch to slant the waistline so that after no stitch or after sewing it will remain firm or it will relax. Just use half inch to slant the waist there line. So the next thing I'll be doing is to cut out. So what I will do next is to place the front panel on the back panel and then cut. Just place it like so. Remember to add extra inch to the top of the back panel you can add one inch you can add two inch depends on your client measurements pin together So in order for you to get the crotch line of the back panel, you have to extend it with 2 inch. You can use 3 inch, depends on norm, the measurement of your client. But on this, I will be extending it with a 2.5 because the back side, that is the hip side, is bigger than the front panel. This is on the waistline now. You extend the waistline up with one inch or one and a half. You can use two, depends on what you want. So on the crotch line of the back, you extend it with 2.5. Just mark down gradually, like so, 2.5 from the waistline to the knee level, you extend it. Connect together. So the back panel is always no bigger than the front panel. Just come it together and then cut out. So what I will be doing is, is to place my fabric on the table, place the pattern paper on top, and then cut out, like so. Just lap on it, pin together. Now 
make sure they are equal and then start to cut so on the wasted band you can use four inches you can use five to take the wasted band just iron your interface on it and keep aside and on the side of the short pants that's where i'll be facing the zip you take the zip line from the hip line upwards please if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials i will see you on my next tutorial please stay safe bye bye